Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. That warning is given out at the beginning of most of the mainline Final Freddy's games. The most important part of the warning is obviously the jump scares. The reason why FNAF is so popular is because of the jump scares. I mean other than the whack ass lore, the amount of mention of dead children, or rule 34. In this video, I'll try to rank every FNAF jump scare from worst to best. There are obviously a lot of jump scares in this game, so this will be very interesting to rank. Most games are going to be ranked in this list except for the VR and AR ports of FNAF because they are pretty much the same jump scare of existing characters. Yeah, I know I know, FNAF Ultimate Custom may have made the cut. I don't care. Whine about it in the comments. Also, I'm adding FNAF into the pit even though most of the jump scares are just one character, Spring Bonnie. When enough has been said, let's get on with the rankings. Easily the worst jump scare. It's just a PNG image of Golden Freddy's head with a scream in the background. It's very bad. Hope he's not scary. Period. Just a loud air horn blaring in your ears. Again, another just loud bass with a sound in your ears. Nothing scary. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Just an ad. Close that shit. I'm ranking both Sister Location a little bit and UCN a little bit because it's the exact same jump scare. It's just LOL. JJ just last at you under our desk. Nothing much there either. For some reason, Phantom PB just looks super goofy, like they enlarge his mouth in another PNG image jump scare, but it just looks really bad. The face doesn't look that bad, but it's just another PNG image jump scare with a loud sound. Another jump scare that's the same as FNAF 3 and UCN, just a screeching sound that just kinda just throws you off rather than scares you. WHITE WOMAN JUMP SCARE! Mini Mirror 2 from FNAF this location and Mini Mirror from FNAF UCN are again the same, but they just sit on my face. <laughs> Nothing more to be said. The Loom Boy is pretty much the same as JJ, but we can see more of him in both FNAF 2 and UCN. But he just still laughs at you rather than him actually scaring you. He just looks so weird with all this wire just spread around him and his entire body just shakes all up on the screen while his mouth just tweaks out. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, plus her face opens up, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, plus her face opens up, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes rapidly, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes rapidly, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, so it's different. Another PNG image jump scare, but this time it shakes, so it's different. Blob is just a mistake of a character, so I just don't understand him. Plus, the jump scare is ass, anyways. Arnie's such a prominent character in FNAF, and all you can do is throw him in Pirates Cove and make him scream at you when you look at him. Come on, man! Not really a PNG image, but a lackluster character in Jump Scare where his jaw just flaps up and down. I accumulated every staff bot in this rank because, I mean, other than really map bot or the staff bots you can fall into at the end of the game, they aren't really scary at all. Arnie just looks really silly with her body and arms swinging back and forth. Doesn't look too great. With the chick has the same problems where her hands are in the air, like that she just don't care, which looks super goofy, plus her head shakes viciously. Alright, you still with me? We got through a lot of the majority of the bad ones, but still a lot of mid ones to go, but now we're finally in the top 100. Bro, oh, Foxy hella tweaking with his jump scare, man. Another really silly jump scare. Why is he giving me his jazz hands in his jump scare? Why is his jaw also tweaking out? There's too much movement in his mouth, bro. This is Ember's only jump scare, and it sucks. His eyes are goofy in his jump scare because they are bugging out and his hands are moving frantically. But Bonnie's just literally thrusting at me rather than scaring me in this jump scare. And my body's moving too much, I can barely see him clearly. I'm just not a big fan of Happy Frogs. Again, too much movement to actually be remotely good, plus her mouth opens hella wide. Compared to Plush Up's old jump scare, it's very bad. Plus, the compared to the rest of the room, the jump scare just looks off. It's kinda similar to Happy Frogs, where there's a lot of body movement and a wide ass mouth movement. Dr. Freddy again, just looks goofy with too much frantic movement. I just think it's weird she's holding her maracas in a jump scare. Plus, again, too much mouth movement. It's so weird that this tiny thing has its own jump scare. Plus, the clap of symbols in front of your face is very dumb. Only one mini music band instead of a group of music men like Security Breach Ruin does have. But you get twitches too much, and there isn't a lot of movement, which makes the jump scare actually kind of good. Phantom Puppet isn't that scary, just more frustrating when he shows up. By the time he's in the game, the game isn't scary. More challenge to win, so when you see him, you're just upset because Springtrap is teleported to your door. His jump scare is very predictable when it happens. And Merchik has a lot of head bobbing, which again makes the jump scare pretty mediocre. But Freddy's is also pretty bad because it looks just like his head goes out of the lighting render, plus his eyes are bugging out. It looks like Scrap Baby's head is barely attached to her body in the jump scare, so it just looks really weird. Jacko Chica is similar to Nightmare Chica's jump scare, but it looks less movement to it, so I guess it's better, but still, meh. Nightmare for some reason just looks weird in general here. In FNAF 4, it does look scary, but here, not at all, so the jump scare is kind of whack. Nightmare Fredbear has the same lighting color problem as Plush Trap, where I feel like the color just looks weird compared to the background. Steam Music Man is an okay jump scare. Again, yeah, not that scary. It's just mostly his face while the area around you shakes slightly, so it doesn't look scary. Mr. Hippo's jump scare is alright. I'm not a big fan again of the movement of his head, but other than that, it's fine. Pig Patch is definitely better than Mr. Hippo's because it does remind me of a good jump scare FNAF has, but he isn't a very scary character, so it's not that great. 
I hate the jump scares that the character moves so fast that it's blurry, and Afton is one of the many characters in FNAF UCN that has had the same fate. Here's where a lot of the UCN jump scares are alright, but are ranked lower because their base jump scares are a lot better. I don't know, just mid, nothing much to say. Alright, we've hit a little checkpoint, hope you're still locked in with me. Yeah, some of these jump scares at this point are hard to rank because they're just a little meh. But I'm doing the best I can to explain why I feel the way I feel. If you made it to this point, check if you subscribed and also hit the like button. Now pop another Zen and let's keep on going. Both enders are ranked here from Security Beach and Security Beach Ruin. Definitely the Ruin one is better because it has more animation to it where it looks like the end is going to kill you. But the first end of jump scare, just like DG Music End, it's just a face with a shaky background. I think with this weird swayiness of it, just makes it a bad jump scare. But definitely the better quality than other jump scares in UCN. Similar to Chica, body swings back and forth while her mouth just opens and closes. Still not too bad. Although it's like a second of a jump scare of Freddy coming behind the door, I think it's really good because it does have a more of a scare to it. You don't expect to see Freddy and then boom, he appears. But after that, it's pretty lackluster because that's all you get for a jump scare. Red Bear is scary because his scream is different from the rest, and you don't expect to see him only for that one easter egg in UCN. Problem is, the jump scare is too frantic. Boxer Bonnie has too much body movement like other UCN characters, but it's not blurry and I can easily keep eye contact with his face. One of the better UCN jump scares, not a lot of head bobbing. The hands aren't shaking frantically. So why is he carrying his magician wand for? It's whack. This is Monty from Security Breach after he got decommissioned by Gregory. Jump scare is dumb because he do a weird spin in the jump scare. Plus, how can he kill me without legs? Although there's a little suspense on his jump scare, it's still very scary because of the way he, that he looks, it actually looks like he wants to grab you. Honestly, I feel bad for Vanny. Her entire content was cut, plus her jump scare was changed. If you see the jump scare from the trailer, it's a lot better. It doesn't scare me as much as Vanny in general should. Be a low controversial, but because Nightmare doesn't jump at you, I don't think it's that good. But his face is very scary nonetheless. Nightmare is ranked a little higher just because I think he looks a little scarier. I don't like how Freddy doesn't have a head in this jump scare, but I do like how he tries to put you in his stomach hatch. Not bad. Another character that I wish was scarier than he was. Mex's jump scare can be somewhat scary because it's comes out of nowhere. He doesn't kill you though, and can be very dumb and ruined. Freddy's jump scare is not that bad. It's on the boxes for a quality jump scare. But why is he carrying his microphone? He never does until the jump scare. Anime Chica kind of reminds me of Spring Trap from the game. She kind of just walks in front of your face. Also, her jump scare is somewhat rare because you only can get it by looking at this one single camera. I'm cutting both of Afton's jump scares in this game. They aren't good due to them having these weird lighting problems on Afton's face. And the design is also pretty bad, so not that scary. Mini Venus is somewhat good in context. It's just a jump scare that jumps in your face and screams. I don't know more to say about it. I'm Bonnet and Bonnet are the same here because just the same jump scare, different color. Another good one. It makes me forget that they are the size of my hand and I can punch them to the moon. So Freddy to me has always looked so goofy because he's a big fat character with his eyes wide open and his mouth even wider. I'm like Phantom Chica. Phantom Freddy just walks in your face. But the leap to the scare is good because he walks in front of the glass and falls down. Landmark Chica's jump scare is kind of like the end of from Security Breach. Her eyes are wide open bugged out and her mouth open wide while the background shakes. Broken Chica is slightly better because of her design and her eyes are broken in her head. Hey guys, it's checkpoint time. Pop another Zen if you have to. Grab the towel, grab some loo. We still got like a 50 more to go. Let's get on to it. I really like how Chica looks like she's slamming me to the ground and trying to slash me with her hand. Only issue is the screen feels off from the jump scare. The jump scare is good, but I don't like how he looks like he wants to take me with his fingies. It was definitely controversial, but I think Golden Freddy's jump scare is okay. It's definitely rare and unexpected, so he wouldn't really scare you, but he doesn't jump out at you with an animation like other jump scares. It's just an image with a unique screen. Lefty, just like a lot of the characters in FNAF 6, are okay at best. He seems rather slower with his jump scare instead of being all too super aggressive with it. Plus, his design is, isn't scary at all. Everyone who first saw Springtrap's jump scare were truly upset with it, and they were right to be upset. It's a mediocre jump scare while Springtrap just kind of walks in front of your face. Yeah, he has a scary design, but the jump scare itself doesn't do it for me. Again, Molten Friday is pretty average of a jump scare. He comes from the left side always for some reason in his office jump scare, plus his design is too whack to fully comprehend what he even looks like. I do like the Mimic's jump scare a little bit. It looks like he's grabbing you, throwing you down, and smacking you. With the costume on too, he throws you down and then tries to pound you. Hey, hey yo. I couldn't explain that better. That baby is the best for FNAF 6, but it's still pretty eh. I like how baby looks like she's trying to come at you from above. She drops down from above and gets a pretty good scare. Monty just looks somewhat goofy to me because his face just thrusts at me while he tries to bite my head off and then successfully does at the end. I did like this one because I really like how there are multiple music men crawling on my body trying to infest me instead of just one guy. Way more realistic. I did like how Wither Freddy comes in from your right looking like he wants to bite your head off, but compared to other animatronics at FNAF 2, he doesn't jump at you. 
and it pretty much just walks in your face like Springtrap in one of his jump scares. The other jump scare is face tweaks out a little more, but still pretty meh. His design is good though. Nightmare Foxy and Mango are ranked the same because just the three skin of the same jump scare. Compared to other FNAF 4 jump scares, it's not too good. He doesn't pick you up, he mostly just scares you. That's it. Although Chica has only one simple jump scare in the pit, he definitely is a scary when it's there. You don't expect to see Chica there, and when you do, you get spooked. Jump scare is pretty much mad though, because it's just our face plastic to the front of the screen. Foxy's face pretty much just sways back and forth, but then it looks like she's trying to bite your face off, which makes the jump scare a little better. The Nightmare Cupcake is very forgetful. I literally ranked him last on this list because I forgot about him. He definitely makes him seem scarier than he actually is in his jump scare, but there isn't anything shocking about it. I really like Nightmare Freddy's jump scare in UCN. It's very well animated compared to other FNAF UCN jump scares, but it's not better than his original jump scare. Little Freddy's jump scares, like a lot of his jump scares, are really unexpected. He sent this full IU rather than it just being an image of his head with a scream sound. Gwen Rock is unique because it has a different jump scare sound from the other jump scares, and also looks like she's trying to chew on us, but not really as scary. Springtrap is my favorite UCN jump scare. Also, it's ranked higher than the original Springtrap jump scare. It has more animation and is similar to Nightmare Freddy's jump scare. Nightmark Freddy's jump scare is always unexpected because you feel betrayed when it happens. That would add a spook to it. Also, I'm including every Freddy jump scare, with or without the face plates and eyes. But Chica's is very good because I like the ones who jump at me, but Chica doesn't jump at me so aggressive as other jump scares at FNAF 2 or other games. And on BB's jump scare can be very scary because you can get confused when you see him on your camera, then he jumps at you with his mouth open. He gets you spooked. With her, Chica doesn't jump at you either, but I like how she comes out from under you in her jump scare and shows up her massive jaw. Alright guys, we are on the last checkpoint of the video. Do what you need to do for the last 25 jump scares. I'm actually on the good jump scares now from top 25 all the way to top 1. Anna Foxy jumps at you, which makes the jump scare good, but the jump scare is always expected when it happens, so it isn't as scary. Spring Bonnie, of course, has a lot of jump scares and FNAF into the pit, but they are pretty similar. I love you can see blood strands in his mouth in some of his jump scares. He goes to hear Oswald scream when he gets jump scared. My bias is that it's unanimated differently than other FNAF games. Plus, that makes him seem bigger than he actually is, like the cupcake, but it's a very different jump scare, and better. His eyes are open wide and he shakes you violently. Nightmare BB is pretty similar to a jump scare to Plus Trap because he's a reskin, but I prefer Nightmare BB's jump scare over Plus Trap. Look at Roxy's jump scare is similar to normal Roxy's, but I love her design over Roxy's and the scream is different than Roxy's original. Billy Bab's initial jump scare is very mad because he just jumped at you, but him opening his face place makes the jump scare a lot better. Image Moxie's looks very cool because it looks like he's trying to eat you and you are trying to hold him back and fail. Roxy is an all around good jump scare. When you see him running down the hall, your pants will be loaded. He then bobs in you from your left, which only makes the jump scare not the best because he doesn't get in your face like the other jump scares. I like how Wither Bonnie tries to grab your throat, AO, in his jump scare. Still very cool, but he doesn't fully jump at you. In his jump scare, you can really see how small you are and how tall Freddy is. The perspective for how high he lifts you off the ground when he scares you is really shown. I really like that. Untimed Fox is very unexpected because he jumps at you from the dark while she opens his face place as well, which adds a spookiness to it. Nightmare Chica and Jekyll Chica are of course the same, but I think the Nightmare Chica is better by design. I love how she jumps at you from the dark, also somewhat picking you up from the ground. Nightmare Fredbear has an amazing design which adds points to his jump scare. He picks you up so high off the ground and it really emphasizes the amount of teeth he has in his jump scare. Fred Bonnie really gets super close to your face in his jump scare. I'd say he's probably centimeters away from your face at the end of the jump scare, which is kind of weird. The jump scare is good nonetheless. Again, Nightmare Bonnie and Jekyll Bonnie are the same, but Nightmare Bonnie is higher ranked. I prefer his design and how he jumps at me in this jump scare. I need both of Freddy's jump scares in this rank. I think Power Outage Freddy is better because no one expects what happens when the power goes out in FNAF 1. The room goes dark and you see Freddy bob back and forth, the way it should be. His other jump scare, he comes in from the right and looks super aggressive. I'm not a fan of the blacked out eyes, but still great jump scares. Very unexpected as well. She ends up with her entire face plates, even including her eyes, which she's probably known for having her eyes shut. It makes her jump scare a lot scarier knowing what to dodge while crawling through her room. This is probably the only jump scare that I have actually had nightmares over. I always picture her cold dead eyes and animation was really well made compared to other jump scares, and this one is actually really memorable. I love the way the puppet jumps out to you from the dark. Don't get me wrong, I hate the puppet as a character, but the jump scare is really good. When you hear the fast music box music, you know you are screwed and are shifted away from death. And you see a long black and white object just fly out at you. His eyes also do light up in his scare, which has a wonderful touch to it. Angle's jump scare is one of the more unique ones in FNAF. She's only one of the jump scares that comes out from above the ceiling plunging towards your face and she wants to give you a smooch, but she's trying to take a bite of your face. Great jump scare. Bonnie's easily top 3, because it would probably give you and of course Scott Cawthon nightmares. Bonnie like Chica has cold dead eyes and is really well animated. Did you expect him to be more cute and cuddly but then killer and dangerous? Bonnie's jump scare is just amazing.
By the time Freddy's jump scare makes the breaker room a lot longer because the jump scare gets a hard pump in. Let it for him open up his face place. His scream is deeper than a lot of the other screams of other animatronics. Plus his jump scare is at random so you just have to hope you didn't spend too long on the breaker. Now we have the number one spot of Withered Foxy. Now Withered Foxy still gets me scared even when I play Golden Freddy mode, which is at a point where the game isn't as scary. I love him fully lunging his body towards me, I love how he does it at random. You never know when it's going to happen, but when it does, you have a loaded diaper. The design also has a scare to it because he opens his eye patched off with both of his eyes. There are also some other jump scares that could have taken the number one spot, but I feel it's Withered Foxy has more redeeming qualities in his jump scare. All around great jump scare, so that's why I'm with Foxy. If you have made this far in the video, I appreciate it a lot. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. The last ranking video did amazing, so hopefully we can get the same amount of love here. Alright, that's all for today. Peace out.